So in max velocity mechanics, there are three positions that I personally like to look at. And the first one is toe off. Toe off is simply when your toe is just about to leave the ground. It's that picture when you're, when the foot is just about to leave the ground and go into the next cycle. All right. So let's look at the front leg first. All right. We want to make sure that knee is up and I like anywhere from 80 to 90 degrees of hip flexion. All right. Your stronger athletes are going to have a higher knee drive where your uh, weaker, less advanced athletes may have that eight, that closer to 80 degrees of a uh, hip flexion, but we definitely don't want anything lower than that. All right. Uh, for your legs, your back leg is going to be relatively straight and your front shin and your back quad are going to be relatively parallel. Now, in terms of that back leg, a lot of coaches like to teach triple extension, but really, if you ever freeze frame any track athletes or any of our fast uh, 40 yard dash sprinters, they really get, there's really not, they're really not getting into triple extension. When you tell an athlete to get into triple extension, what happens is they overreach, they end up overreaching and their foot strike lands too far out in front of them, creating too much of a breaking force. All right, so we just want a relatively straight back leg. We don't necessarily want one to coach to try to get triple extension. For arms, the back arm will be anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees of elbow bend. And I find that that's just uh, a preference of the athlete. Some athletes have it uh, at 90 degrees. Some athletes have it a little bit more open. All right, as long as they're not opening up the arm all the way, uh, I don't have a problem, right? Anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees. Now, the front arm is going to be a little bit uh, more close, okay? So you're not necessarily going to see both arms at 90 to 100 degrees. Usually, the front arm is a little, it is more close, meaning it has a, a smaller uh, angle. All right, the torso is going to be nice and upright, okay? Remember, we're now into max velocity mechanics. We're nice and tall, okay? We don't want to be bent over. And we don't want to be lean back. We want to have our shoulder, our ear, shoulder, and hip are relatively in alignment. That front toe is going to be up, okay? And again, that's going to help us with that pre-stretch so that we can strike the ground and have that springiness. The head and eyes are going to be up, uh, and the eyes, again, are going to be straight ahead, all right? We want to look where we're going, all right? Since our torso is upright, our eyes are going to be upright. Remember, in acceleration, our torso was at a 45-degree angle. Well, our eyes are also going to be looking at that angle. So really, wherever your torso is, your eye angle is going to be as well. So the next thing I like looking at in max velocity mechanics is the touchdown. And the touchdown is simply the point at which uh, the foot initially touches the ground. All right, when we look at this foot strike, we want to make sure that we're striking with the ball of our foot. And you're going to see that for most athletes, the foot is going to land slightly in front of the center of mass. All right. For your more advanced athletes, you may see it land underneath the hips. But I would say 99% of football players, you're going to find uh, the foot is going to land slightly in front of the center of mass. And all this is going to do is set us up to cycle through more efficiently. So as that foot hits the ground, because it's slightly in front of us, it helps us sort of pull the body forward, okay? Now, you don't want to think about pulling the body forward, but that's just sort of the way the mechanics work. The foot lands in front of the center of mass, so it can sort of pull the ground and sort of cycle back up and then propel our body forward, okay? But don't, don't consciously think that. Just let it happen naturally. So the next position I like looking at in max velocity mechanics is the support phase. The support phase is simply when the toe is directly underneath the hips, right? That down toe is directly underneath the hip. And in this position, you want to see that the front leg is creating a figure four, right? And the back heel is right underneath the glutes. Now, this is going to set us up to have that cyclical action of, of max velocity mechanics. So tying this all together, all three of the positions that we went over repeatedly happen each and every step of max velocity. All right, so you want to keep these sort of points in mind uh, for the duration of the sprint after about 10 to 15 yards, all right? So you'll hold this sort, these sort of mechanics and hold these sort of principles 
uh, until you finish the sprint. And now for the finish, all right? So for the finish, it's very simple. Finish through the line. Don't slow down until you're all the way past the line. Keep driving, all right? Uh, what I like to say is run a 45-yard dash instead of a 40-yard dash. This is going to ensure that you don't slow down, number one. And number two is going to ensure that you leave nothing on the table.